Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how you can do this nanotech effect from the Avengers Endgame the movie. This nanotech effect gonna be created using some geo nodes. And this effect can be applied to different objects as we can see here. So, without further wait, let's get to the video. So, we're gonna start by selecting the armor. Go to the shading tab. We're gonna first delete this geo nodes here. Then, we're gonna add a noise texture by clicking Shift and A. Noise texture. Click Ctrl and T to add this then we're gonna plug the object into the vector of the noise texture now we're gonna add some math node math vector then change the add to the length and put it right here the object into the vector, then add a mix RGB. I'm gonna plug the noise texture here and the math vector here. Now add a math node. Then change it to subtract. Plug the mix RGB and choose a value of 0 0.3. Duplicate the math node, then change subtract to less than. And plug the subtract node here. Then change the value to 1. And we're gonna plug everything into the alpha of the principal BSDF. Now you see that the selected armor just disappeared. Now we're gonna go to the texture coordinate and in the object section select empty. We're gonna use this empty to control the visibility of the armor. Let's select all these nodes, press Ctrl G and we're gonna change the name to metal spread. Okay. Now what we are gonna do is the liquid metal effect. For that we're gonna use shift and right click to do that. And we're gonna start working on the liquid metal effect. First we're gonna add a noise texture again. A math note. math note then finally a bump note okay let's plug everything together just like that and final goes here and normal to normal of the principal bsdf now we're gonna change some value of the bump node 0 0.3 and the minus 0 0.1 
and for, for the math node we're gonna change it to subtract again and select a value of 0 0.3 and we are gonna select all these nodes press ctrl G and name it liquid liquid metal and we can we can also change the color here now we're gonna plug the vector into this point now we're gonna work into the color of the armor to do that we're gonna need three things first we're gonna add a color ramp then a mix RGB, mix RGB and finally we're gonna add a gamma node first we're gonna plug the color into the color and the mix RGB into the base color of the principal PSDF for the color ramp we're gonna plug the color into the factor just like that and the factor into this point increase the value of the black color just like that then we're gonna choose the right color now select those three notes ctrl G and change the name and the color okay we're gonna work into the color of the armor to do that we're gonna need three things first we're gonna add a color ramp then a mix RGB, mix RGB. and finally we're gonna add a gamma node first we're gonna plug the color into the color and the mix RGB into the base color of the principal PSDF for the color ramp we're gonna plug the color into the factor just like that and the factor into this point increase the value of the black color just like that then we're gonna choose right color now select those three notes ctrl G and change the name and the color Color. okay as you can see there is no actual changing in the arm Iron Man armor to observe this difference we're gonna we're gonna start by hiding the other parts of the armor just select the armor and click H to hide just like that and we are go we're gonna go to the layout tab and see the difference so we're gonna add some effect the liquid effect and the metallic effect to do that we're gonna 
add a tab here and change it to the shader editor to do that we're gonna use this noise te texture right here and the second noise texture also we're gonna need a subtract value so let's start with the noise texture just select it and change the details value to 6 then put the, cur the cursor just right here select the details and click A as you can see there is value added here now just move the cursor to the end of the video and select 1 and click A again and as you can see there is two value here we are gonna do the same thing using the second noise texture put the cursor right here and select a value of 15 click A then move the cursor to the end of the video here and click 1 and A now we're gonna do the same thing with the subtract notes here select the subtract notes select a value of minus 0 0.9 and click A to add it now move the cursor just here and reduce the value to minus 0 0.3 and just now click A okay let's see the animation now 